Okay, I'm sitting in my daughter's carpool line waiting for her to come out from school and no one's in my car and I thought, well, I'm gonna make a video. <laughs> so it's probably gonna be very short, but it's been um, really busy. So I've had to just sort of like either multitask or be very efficient with my time. And so here I am. Um, I was thinking and talking with a client yesterday, I believe, or the day before, um, and she's basically just struggling a ton with body image, right? Is it dysmorphia? Is it not? She's not sure, but it's really uncomfortable and she's crawling out of her skin. And I was trying to explain to her an analogy that I was thinking of as she was describing it and how I felt that way when we moved into this um, small space that we're renting. I felt like I was crawling out of my skin. I felt like there were kids like all over me and I felt like I couldn't, there was no way out. Like this is the contract we signed. We were here for nine months. And every day I would wake up and just be like, I feel like the walls are closing in on me. And as she was saying that about her body, that's exactly how I felt about this place when we moved in over two weeks ago. But with time, I'm growing to like it. I'm like, you know what, I actually like it. There's some good things about this. It's easier to clean and um, you know, there's less stuff in our house because we're storing a lot of stuff and there's a lot of together time because <laughs> there's not a lot of space to go anywhere else. So we're always around each other and there really are some things that have been good about it and I've adjusted to it and now I'm not like waking up every morning going, oh my gosh, it's just, it's just my house. That's just what it is. And I'm very grateful for it. Um, and it's the same way with your body. You're gonna initially be like, oh my gosh, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? I'm so scared, this is not okay, this is not okay, I have to stop, I have to change it, right? And then with time is you don't do anything to change it and it is what it is and there's no getting out of it because you're gonna fully recover, you finally figure out a way to get used to it. Your brain adapts and you start to change your attitude about it and you start to see the good things about it and then you move on with your life. So that's very much how I feel like in my recovery it was. And so one tool, she asked a good question, what are some practical things I can do? And I said, well, there's a few different things you can do when you look in the mirror and you see kind of like what something that really freaks you out and that is uncomfortable. You can say, I don't love my body right now and that's okay. So that's one thing you could say. Or you can say, I don't love my body right now, but I do love that I can go out to dinner spontaneously. I hate my body right now, but I do love that I can um, sleep through the night without waking up hungry. I do hate my body, but I do love that I have energy to get through the day. Depending on where you're at in recovery, you may not have any energy, so that might not be a good one. Um, I hate my body, but I do love that I have a little bit more space to think about other things. I do love my body, but I can see how one day I could get used to it and I can actually just not be thinking 24 seven about trying to change it or fix it or hide it. Okay. And so there are things that you can, can do when you're seeing it because it's impossible to avoid it. Obviously don't go out of your way. I'm not under the umbrella of like, yeah, stand in front of the mirror and try to tell yourself all the wonderful things you love about your body. And I just don't, I, that never works for me. Um, but just kind of time, really, I would say time and patience and then just like determination that you're going to find a way to accept it, I would say is my best advice. Um, yeah, so the body image thing is hard, um, especially when you still have a brain that's very disordered and still very much adapting to change. Um, our brains don't like change, right? It takes work to adapt to it and it's just uncomfortable and especially when you have so many fears around that thing that's changing, it makes sense that you're gonna have a lot of sadness and a lot of grief and a lot of ugh, right? So that is all I have to say now because my daughter's gonna open the door in three, two, one. So I gotta go. All right, have a good day. Bye.